Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Challen and I'm happy to welcome you to CS124. So in the short video, what I want to do is introduce you to the quiz system that you'll use to take your weekly assessments in this course. So every week you're going to sign up to take a test in our computerized testing center. One of the locations is in the basement of Granger. They've got a few other spots. So you'll register using their software. That's going to set you up with a time and a place where you're going to show up and take roughly a 50 minute assessment. Um, that's on our quiz platform. So in this video, I want to show you both sort of how to access the quizzes from the CS124 website, which you'll do during practice. Um, and then a little bit about how things will look once you get to the testing center. Okay, so right now I'm logged into the CS124 website and I'm on the quizzes tab. So to get here, I go over here and hit quizzes and here I am. Um, and you can see that I can see two assessments here. Uh, there's a practice quiz. I've chosen Kotlin as my language and you will only see quizzes in the language that you've chosen. So if you come without choosing a language, that'll be the first thing I'll do to start. Um, so I've chosen Kotlin as my language option. I can see a practice quiz. Uh, that's marked with a PQ, and also it says practice quiz zero. Uh, that's a 100-point assessment. I've got 30 minutes to do that. The practice quizzes are optional, but they're great ways to prepare for the real quizzes. I'll show you what happens when I start that in a minute. However, I can also see an actual official quiz, and this is our first quiz that we'll be giving as the semester begins. This is marked as Q0. Welcome to CS124. It's worth 100 points. And you'll see that there's an indication on there that says CBTF only. This is a quiz that can be only open inside the testing center. You will be able to see your scores for this quiz, both here and on the grading page, but you can't open or access the assessment from outside of the CBTF for sort of obvious reasons, because we want you to take the test in the testing center in the controlled environment. Okay, so let's go ahead and open uh, this practice quiz. This is just sort of a sense of like, uh, this is actually really important to go through. There's information about the CBTF on here, a little bit about how the quiz works. Uh, so let's see, let's do a couple of the, this is, you know, a quiz is just designed to be somewhat uh, straightforward. So I'm gonna answer the questions, mixture of multiple choice. There's also a programming question on here. Um, and then, you know, see what happens if I get something wrong. So over here, I should slow down and explain a few things. Uh, over here, this indicates the points that are available for the question, and this is by attempt. So you'll see the first attempt, there's 20 points available for this multiple choice of question. If I get it wrong, now I have another attempt for 10 points, and then down here you'll see unlimited attempts for five points each. So pretty much all the questions on our quizzes, both the programming questions and the multiple choice questions, can be answered an unlimited number of times because we actually want you to figure out what the answer is because if you knew it great if you didn't then you'll learn a little by taking the assessment right um so now let's get this wrong again um right uh, a blank would be a great president he's not around and you'll see now i'm and but it's still allowing me to answer right so finally i'm going to get the correct answer um let me do that in a sec over here you'll see an indication that this is a practice quiz and then both the time left, this is a 30 minute assessment, and my current score. Um, now, one thing that you'll notice happens is that once I've answered a question, that question is hidden. So I no longer have access to it, right? And that's both to allow you to focus and also because, you know, we want uh, you to not leave with the correct answers in case you're gonna talk to somebody else about it. Um, when you finish the assessment, so I'm gonna show you what happens in a minute, it will close automatically. So as soon as I get this question right, there's no more points that I can earn on that assessment. And so it closes automatically. It takes me back to the quiz page. Now, because this is a practice assessment, I can start it again. So here I am again, you know, I can go in a different order. I can get more questions right. Um, let's see, let's get this one wrong just for fun. Uh, this question you'll see does not have unlimited attempts. So if I get it wrong again, then it's gonna close. Uh, and I've missed the points on that question. The programming questions I will always have unlimited attempts on. So you can work on those until you're finished, until you either run out of time or you get the correct answer. Um, all right, so I'm usually, I'm. this is the usual feedback. This is using the same auto grading system we use on the homework. So it's something that you should be familiar with. All right, get the correct answer, close this again, I'm back on the quiz page. Okay, so that's how things will look on the CS124 website. When you get to the testing center, here's kind of how things will look. And I can't fully do a demo of this properly because reasons, uh, but I'm gonna try, right? So once the proctor opens the exam, you see this page that asks you to start. I'm gonna go ahead and click. 
uh, it's going to load for a minute, and then it's going to open my assessment automatically for me. Um, and here it is. Great. So this is just a test assessment I set up just so that we can get a sense of what the flow is. But you'll see here that this is very familiar. This is the same interface that you use on our website. It's a little bit different. You'll notice that inside the CBTF, uh, you can use dark mode if you would like. But in general, the other CS124 website functionality is unavailable. And I want to be clear about that because inside the CBTF, you cannot access the rest of the CS124 website. You cannot access Google. You cannot use ChatGPT, you cannot ask a friend in the course, you cannot get help from the course staff. These assessments are designed to allow us to establish what you know. And that's really important because our goal in this class is for everybody to learn the material. We don't want you to be able to hide in a group or just get through based on help from the course staff or CNP from the internet. We want you to leave the class with a solid base of understanding in the topic that you can build on in future courses. So that's why this works this way. Um, but just be prepared. Um, sometimes when needed, we will provide documentation that you might want, like, um, you know, uh, the Java doc for a particular class or something like that, but that's it. You should be prepared to complete these assessments on your own. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and show you. This is very similar to what we were doing before. These questions are a little sillier. These are just testing. Uh, zero is always the right answer. I don't know if that says something profound, but okay. Now, uh, I can go back to the menu here. There's no way to stop the assessment. The only way that the assessment will stop in the testing center, normally on the quiz page, you can close an assessment yourself. In the testing center, it only stops when you run out of time. The time display is the same. You'll see that I have 41 minutes left. But until I basically get all the points that are available on the assessment, it will remain open. So don't leave until it closes. I'll show you what happens when it closes. It's pretty much the same thing. I hit submit. Now I've got you know, this and I'm done, right? Once you get to this page, you'll see that my uh, score is displayed here. This is a 14 point assessment um, and it took me nine minutes and five seconds. And the reason it closed is that I was out of points. And this is really, hopefully, like sometimes it will close because I run out of time, but continue to work on the assessment until you either receive all the points that you can get or it closes because you've run out of time. So this is what things will look like in the testing center. These are similar interfaces, but uh, you know, use the quiz system built off the main CS124 website to practice, to prepare, um, and then uh, you know this. But it will be hopefully familiar to you when you get to the CBTF. Now, normally, once you're done in the CBTF, you leave, you come back to the CS124 site, you will see the score for your assessment. Like after you take Quiz Zero in the CBTF, the score and the other information similar to the practice assessment will be shown on this page. So that gives you a sense of like what happened. You'll also see it on your grade page. Okay, hopefully this helps. I will say that we are running our first quiz now and you can sign up and take it right away. It's a quiz on syllabus material. Every question can be answered an unlimited number of times for full credit. And so it's an easy 100 out of 100. So please sign up to take it because it's also great practice at just getting used to the quiz center, getting used to our quiz processes, getting comfortable with the CBT app and stuff like that. So good luck. Hopefully this answers questions. If you still have more questions, or you know, want to know more about this, please ask on the forum. We really do want you to be comfortable in the quiz environment. We know it's stressful. It's a chance to show us what you've learned. It can be difficult sometimes to you know, figure out an error without help, but it's a really important aspect of the course to establish what you know. If you do poorly on a quiz, we will find you, right? We will reach out and we will say, hey, come in for some support, come in for some tutoring. You know, what can we do to help you? And that's one of the reasons we give quizzes actually is because when we see students who have a gap in knowledge that was exposed on one of our quizzes, it gives us an idea of who the right people to talk to are. Um, and that's something we do because we love you, because we want you to succeed, right? So, you know, if you do poorly on a quiz and you get an email or a message from a staff member, you know, please respond to that and engage with them so you can do better in the future. Good luck.